Hello, it's me, Mike Christensen, and we are coming into the holiday season, and some of you may know some writers in your lives and be thinking, what can I do for them relating to the exchanging of gifts? Well, I've got you covered, maybe. I mean, I have some ideas. One thing that I think is really helpful as a writer is having some place to write things down in, um, something that you can keep by the side of the bed and make sure you're taking down notes. I also use this as a habit tracker. This is a bullet journal. Lots of writers have lamented waking up in the morning and feeling like, you know, during the night, I know I had a good idea. I woke up, I had an idea for a story. And then when I went back to sleep and I woke up again, it was gone. Book. There's a lot of ways you can go this way. You can just give them a journal. That's just sort of a normal, like, um, the kind you had in school. A ruled journal, I guess, is what I'm thinking of. But I'm gonna make the case for the bullet journal. It's a little more expensive, but I think it's really worthwhile. The look. Therm 1917, this is a great design. The gist is that you've got all of these uh, dots instead of lines. You have a lot more flexibility with the page. They can kind of set their own terms, how they want to organize it. I have a habit tracker in mine. I use this for all of my different to-do lists and things that I need to get done. This is incredibly valuable for me and I think something that you could easily gift. That would be a very thoughtful uh, way to show your appreciation to the writer in your life. And if they already have one and they just like to put decoration on here, stickers make a fantastic stocking stuffer. That's a hard sentence to say. Stickers make a fantastic stocking stuffer. Well, not that hard. Second one is books, maybe. I myself am on a bit of a book buying hiatus. I've got more than enough. If someone gifted me a book today, I would say, thank you. And then it would sit on a shelf for a while while I worked on reading these. So maybe check with them or check with their significant other and see if they're allowed to get new books. Or Audible credits. Audiobooks are awesome. Um, again, you know, test the water, see if the uh, person that you're buying a gift for likes audiobooks. Not everybody does. I think they're awesome. I go through audiobooks very quickly. I've been burning through a lot of them really recently, so for me, like, that's a fantastic gift. If anyone out there is like, hey, why don't we get Mike, you know, maybe some Audible credits, like some little gift to give him some Audible credits. Anything like that, you know, that, that allows them to still pick the books they want, um, that is a great way to do it. Although I think Audible actually does let you give a gift of a book. So uh, if there's a specific book you think someone should read, slash listen to on Audible, you can totally just give them that book. Um, and that's a great way to do it as well. Another idea is potentially like a Scrivener license. Scrivener is not that expensive, um, but it's a nice gift you can give to a writer and be like, hey, you know what? I'll cover X number of months of Scrivener, especially if they don't already have the program, if it's not something that they're already, you know, spending money on, it's a great way for them to be like, hey, yeah, do I like Scrivener? Let me try it out. Another idea is pajamas. Just nice snuggly pajamas. Everyone likes those. Maybe like a Snuggie. Are those still a thing? I don't think I've heard of a Snuggie in many years. You can also find out uh, what kind of music your writer likes uh, listening to, you know, if they listen to anything while they write, and maybe you can get them some headphones so they can do that, uh, you know, in, in a coffee shop or something like that or give them an album that's along the type of music that they like to listen to, and, and maybe that's a good way to do it as well. Anything like that that facilitates them doing writing. And listen, we've all seen those t-shirts out there that have funny, quippy phrases about what it's like to be a writer. Get them one of those. Same for signs. I've got a sign outside my bedroom door that says, be careful, novelist at work, something like that. Uh, trespassers, what does it say? Hold on. It says, beware, novelist at work, bystanders may be written into story. It's like a warning sign. Something like that would be a cool, fun gift, potentially. Uh, another thing you can do is something that's not related to writing, you know, like a, like a video game, you know, like something that lets them unwind, potentially. I don't know, I don't know the writers in your life Man, I, 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 don't, I, don't know, I don't know what they like. Why is there all this pressure on me to tell you what your, the writer in your life likes? I don't know them. I've never met them. I don't, I, I don't know them from Adam or Eve. 
This is a, this is a book, but this is Valentine, and he was a gift to Victoria. He was a Valentine's Day gift. And that's why he's named Valentine. She had made some sort of comment one day about like wanting a giant teddy bear or something like that. So I surprised her on Valentine's Day. I took her out to an Airbnb and I got in before she did and I pulled this guy out of the box and set him on the bed. And he's been with us ever since. And I think fundamentally that's what gift giving is about. You know, it's about listening to the other person. It's about making sure that you're communicating. You know, because honestly, I'm just an internet dude and I, I don't necessarily know what your writer's gonna enjoy. Like if it was me, like I like Dungeons and Dragons a lot. So like maybe something like that, a dungeon. Just give me a dungeon. I just don't think it's fair that you're abdicating the responsibility of the gift that you set. You are the one who decided you're gonna get this person a gift, not me. You know, and you're the one who's like, well, I should, I should think about what they want as a writer. It's like, yeah, that's a great way to do it, a great way to connect, but you know, you, you can also just ask them. Just ask them what they want. And if they're like, you know, I don't know, be like, well, what about this video? Does anything in here sound good? And if they say, I want Valentine, then no, this one's mine. He's mine. He belongs to me. Technically, belongs to Victoria. It's a gift to her. Here you go, buddy. Here, read 1984. It's disturbingly present. Anyway, if you like this video, go ahead and uh, like it uh, with the by the button. That's a sentence. Subscribe so that you know when I do more videos, because who would want to miss out on this kind of quality entertainment? Be sure to ring the bell. It's somewhere. That's how YouTube tells you that I made another video, or that I posted another video. Happy holidays. I love you, Victoria.